Raquel. You have to be okay. You can't die without knowing how much I love you. I got you some hot chocolate, Kay. He cannot be buried in that avalanche, Simone. He just can't be. Charity was with them. We have to pray for both of them, Miguel and Charity. What's taking Reese so long? He left for the ski rescue headquarters right after we saw the avalanche happen. We've had plenty of time to tell him that Miguel's okay. Reese will be back as soon as he can. Miguel was his best friend, Kay. Not was, Simone is, is. Miguel's okay. You have to believe that. I. I hope they're both okay, but I. You think Miguel's dead, don't you? I didn't say that. Well, that's what you were thinking? Well, you're wrong. Miguel's fine. He's gonna be okay. He has to be. I haven't given up hope on Miguel and Charity. I just think we should be prepared for what happens, even if it's the worst. No, Simone. Reese is gonna be back any second with the good news. Forget Reese. There's a ski rescue guy. Excuse me. I had a friend up on Pine Ridge when the avalanche happened. Is there any news on him? Actually, we had two friends. A guy named Miguel and her cousin Charity. Miguel's all right. That's what you came to tell us, right? Sorry, miss. There's no word on anyone having survived. But, no, listen. I mean, Miguel and I have been together for as long as I can remember. I mean, he's too good. He's too nice. I can see him being injured, but I can't. I know he's okay. He survived. He had to. Why aren't you out there looking for him? Hey, hey, stop. I'm sorry. I just really care about him. I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to face reality. It would be a miracle if anyone survived the avalanche in the first place. And even if they did, the snow and cold will get to him before we do. are still out and so are the cell phones so there's no way we can call home and tell everyone what happened well it's better that way there's no reason to get my parents freaked out about charity or get anybody upset about miguel because he's going to be safe and sound okay you heard what the rescuer guy said there's no way that they could have okay what are you doing Hey, you can't go look for Miguel. You can't. I don't care what the rescuers say. Miguel's out there alive, and I'm going to go find him. What makes you think you can find Miguel when professionals can't? Because I love him, Simone. No one seems to understand that mean, old, selfish Kay could love someone enough to risk her life to save him. Kay, you're really something. I thought you just wanted to get Miguel into bed, but it goes much deeper than that, doesn't it? All the way down to my heart. But I, I can't let you go out there alone. On the mountain, you'll die. Simone, I'm going to go find Miguel, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Kay! Get, okay, Kay! If you're going to do something stupid, why don't you just have some company along with you? Kay, it's useless. Let's go back to the lodge. We're never going to find Miguel or Charity. You can go, Simone. I'm not giving up. Hey, please! No. Oh my god, look, Simone. There's tracks in the snow and they're fresh. And they head off that way. Simone, there's a cabin down that hill. Come on, maybe Miguel's there. Miguel! Miguel! Miguel is dead. Miguel, you can't be. Miguel! Miguel! Cherry, were you hurt in the avalanche? No! He pushed me out of the way. Miguel died trying to save me. Miguel is dead and it's all my fault! No, you couldn't help what happened. The hell she couldn't! You're right, Charity. This is all your fault. If it weren't for you, Miguel would still be alive. You have brought nothing but trouble ever since you came to Harmony. She doesn't know what she's saying. You were all perfectly happy until you came and ruined everything. You were such a jinx, Charity. 
What are you doing? You're right. It's all my fault. Okay. Hey, don't do this to her. She doesn't deserve it. Yes, she does. She deserves this and a hell of a lot more. If you hadn't been here, I would have been on that mountain with Miguel. I could have saved him. Or I would have died with him. But no, you had to cheat me out of that chance just like you have cheated me for everything else. <laughs> You love Miguel, don't you? What did you say? I said you love him, don't you? Yes. I love Miguel. <laughs> but now he's gone and he'll never know it. Yes, I love Miguel. Okay. No, Simone, I don't care who knows now because Miguel is gone. She doesn't even seem possible. Miguel and I have spent our whole lives together. We've known each other even before we even started kindergarten. Miguel was the most popular kid in class even back then. But he never let it get to his head. I mean, yeah. He was good looking, but he had such a good heart, such a beautiful heart. He was always, always thinking about other people before himself. You know, I even learned how to play softball just so I could spend time with him. We were a really good team. Miguel and Kay, Kay and Miguel. Nobody ever heard our names unless they were together. That's how close we were before you came along. I never had the chance to tell him how I feel about him, and now I never will. I'm so sorry, Kay. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that I took that from you. But now we've both lost something that we love. Because of you. It's not my fault Miguel's dead, it's yours. <laughs> Miguel! He's alive! Miguel! What happened? We got caught in an avalanche. Simone and I saw it from the lodge. And I thought you died trying to save me. He must have been hypothermic. I didn't want to leave you alone, so I dragged you over here to this cabin. No one would come look for you, Miguel, so Simone and I came. We saw these fresh tracks and they led us right here. I'm lucky to have so many people that care about me. Oh, Miguel, can you feel your toes? Can you feel your fingers? Are you in pain? I think I'm okay. I don't, I don't remember what happened, except that it was really cold. But I, I didn't mind. It was so quiet and peaceful. I was about to drift away, someplace far away. But th then I heard a voice talking about, about love. And I, I realized I had to come back. I had to tell the person that, that said they loved me that I love them too. It was me, Miguel. I was the one talking about love. I know, Kay. And I love you. You're a great friend. But it was you, Charity. I had to come back for you. I have to tell you how much I love you. I'm sorry, Kay. It's not fair. It's just not fair.